Hello, all right, so we are continuing along this journey of a noob trying to create an app in the solid uh, network. And some of the previous videos, um, we were focusing mostly on the solid community and there wasn't a whole lot of functionality, not features available. So I decided to come over here and try the Inrup, the commercial entity uh, established by the solid founding team. And I was able to set up my own pod and of course, as soon as I go to begin this video, I keep getting this error. And uh, there's another error that occasionally pops up that says too many files open. So what I'm thinking is that right now, there are not enough uh, solid servers to handle uh, the influx of interest. So if you are able to install and run your own solid server, I think that, that would um, become a tremendous help because it seems like the interest in solid and building these apps is going to do nothing but skyrocket over the next couple of months. And with that being said, since we can't uh, play around with that pod right now, let's go ahead and go back to the writing solid applications with Angular. Now, what I'm most interested in is I want to see this sample application showing the basics of a solid app. I'm very curious about that. And it says that if we follow all of these directions, we can do that. So let's go to the GitHub repository. And if you haven't already downloaded GitHub Desktop, you definitely want to do that. It's going to be a lot easier for you to view all of this information instead of downloading it as a zip. So I will bring up my GitHub Desktop. And I have already cloned the repository. Um, since you will need to do that, you just go to Clone Repository, paste that URL, choose which folder you want it to be in, and there you go. From here we can see some of the history and any changes that you might make. Now from here, all of these instructions talk about the command prompt. So we are going to want to go into our repository, open in command prompt, and I do not have git on my system. So I am going to install Git, download the latest version, uh, either Mac, Windows, Linux. I am using Windows and we will let that download. All right, and after we installed it, I now have the command prompt window. So I'm going to go through, copy that. And I'll put it right. Oh. oh, that's right, you can't do copy and paste. All right, so we will type it npm space install space dash g at angular or slash cli enter not found. All right, so I had to stop recording for a little bit so that I could figure out a few things regarding uh, NPM and uh, Yaomin and getting all this good stuff installed. So I googled how to install uh, NPM and I came across this website and it gives some very good detailed instructions on how to install everything. So I'm going to go through that, give it a quick test, and if I am successful, I will be right back. All right, so I got the uh, nodes.js installed, and as I was restarting my computer, I came to the realization, I think I've been saying Yaomin incorrectly. I do believe it is Yeoman. Uh, I could be wrong, so if someone out there would like to correct me, uh, I would like to know. So, there I am tinkering around, and let's go back to opening that command prompt, and let's give this a try and see if I have succeeded. So, we will install. Ooh, uh, rollback failed optional. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Ooh, what's it doing? I love watching it do stuff, but I have no idea what it's doing. Alright, so it looks like it may have worked. I don't know, I see something saying unsupported platform. Um, Alright, well, let's continue <laughs> along. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and install a yeoman. Check it out, it's running sanity checks on my system. Mm, good thing it's not running sanity checks on me at this point. Ah, but it says everything looks alright, so yes! Alright, I'm feeling good here. I'm feeling good. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Alright, so now, using the generator, once it's installed, you can run the generator using a command line interface. First, navigate to the parent folder you wish to create the new project. Then run the command. All right. I don't know how to navigate to that parent folder, so maybe it'll just do it for me. Bam. It did not like that. Sure, go ahead and anonymous, anonymously report it. Error. You don't seem to have a generator with the name. Oh, but help is on the way. You can see available generators via NPM search, Yeoman generator, or via these generators. Install them with the NPM install. And to see all your installed generators run you without any arguments. Mm, I won't argue with the system, don't worry. Alright, so... Oh, I skipped a step. Oh, I see. Okay. And my son just laughed at me. I'm sure you heard that in the background. <laughs> okay, so I must have skipped that step somehow. Uh, make sure you do that one. That's why. So, now let's go back and install or use that command. Does it do anything for me? Oh! It worked! Uh, please enter your application name. Alright. Well, I'm going to call it New World Optimist. Enter. Ooh! Look at you go! Action! What is all of that? Alright. Downloading binary, download complete binary, saved, caching binary, and more optional. Okay, I don't know if I need to pay any attention to any of that. So, let's see what the next one is. So, this will open a prompt with a few questions, such as a project name. We already did all that. Note the project name will also be your root folder name. Okay, it's easy to remember. The generator will then install the Angular and Solid project files, then run npm install for you. Once the generator has finished running, you can navigate into the newly created project folder and run the command 
NG serve. All right. So, am I in that folder? Hmm. I think I have to change this to new world optimist before I do that, right? And then do that. Did that work? No, it did not. Okay. Oh. Could not be found. All right, let me figure this out. Well, it seems at this point I am stuck, and it could be, it is likely just my inexperience here, but I cannot seem to get past these error messages. So, I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that um, the interrupt pod is still offline, um, but I believe that this is as far as I can go. Anyway, I'm proud of myself that I got this far. It says, welcome to solid, I'm there, uh, we will, you know, go ahead and continue exploring this some more and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get this all resolved. I would love if anybody watching this has any idea as to what I might be doing wrong or if it isn't even on my end, I would love for you to comment below. Uh, otherwise, subscribe if you want to watch some more of my hilarious fails and wins. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.